Hey guys, Amy Star Allen here. Uh, gorgeous day here in Boulder, Colorado. 62 degrees. I'm out on a walk and um, in today's video I'm going to share, um, I figured I'd do today's video from outside since it's so nice out and I'm out and about. Um, I'm going to share a video today about five keys to being a successful entrepreneur. And you know, as an entrepreneur, I've been an entrepreneur for about 10 years now. Some of the things that I've learned along the way um, that I'm gonna share with you today are just kind of critical components that I found you have to adhere to if you really wanna have success as an entrepreneur. So number one is pay it forward. You always want to be providing value and solving people's problems. That's really the goal as an entrepreneur is to be somebody of value, be an, become an expert and just really, you know, solving problems is, is really the key to creating a tribe and a following and a sustainable income. So that's the first one. The second one is go with your gut. You gotta learn to trust your gut. A lot of times we get into our head and we try to make decisions based on, you know, intellectual stuff. And that's not what I've, one of the biggest things that I've learned over time is that when I trust my gut, if I have a gut feeling about something, it's, it's accurate. And when I don't trust my gut and I go against it, that's where the suffering comes in. Some of the biggest breakthroughs I've had in my life and my business have come from just trusting my gut and moving forward from there. So just know that your gut knows things that your head doesn't know. And so that's a big, a big part of the um, equation. Number three is push through your fear. So, you know, when as an entrepreneur, there a lot of fear comes up. And it doesn't matter if you you're already successful, there's still gonna be fear. You know, there are some people who um and I, I know of a couple people who are like professional speakers and they're an entrepreneur and they, they fly around speaking, but they're afraid of flying. So even though they're very successful and make a lot of money with their craft, they still have to push through their fear every time they get on a plane. So just because you reach a certain level of success does not mean that you have to stop pushing through your fear. Fear is something that will um, come up again and again, regardless of how successful you become. So just know that you know that's that's part of the equation, and that um, you know being an entrepreneur is not about living in your comfort zone. So there's going to be fear involved. Number four is spend time alone each day. This is so important. I know that some of my biggest realizations and some of my biggest ideas that have created a lot of money for me have come when I'm either in a meditation, out on a walk like I am right now, in the shower, um, on a hike. So spending time alone, even if it's in your car, just turning off the, the music and just being with yourself is really, really important. Especially as an entrepreneur, because as an entrepreneur, we really are dependent on ourselves and our ideas and our intuition. And the best way to tap into those is by spending time alone. So ideally 30 minutes a day by yourself. If you can't do 30 minutes a day, do what you can, but definitely take the time to spend some time alone. And then the fifth one, this is a huge one. This is something that is part of a big realization that I had at the end of the year that I'm working on um, in the new year is just really believing in your work Knowing that fear, I mean, um, failure is a key part of your success and, you know, just really trusting yourself, believing in your work and trusting that um, it's valuable and it's powerful. And if you don't do that, then nobody else is going to believe in your work either. So this is a really key component. And, you know, knowing that failure is part of your success, I mean, this is huge. Because again, no matter how successful we become, 
we're going to experience failure, ups and downs along the way. At least for me, my entrepreneurial journey has been kind of a roller coaster ride. So I have to understand that failure is part of that. I'm going to try stuff that's not going to work. I might start a marketing campaign that totally bombs and I lose a bunch of money. I got to get up and try it again. So failure is just part of the learning process. So just remember that. So I hope this has been helpful. These five tips. Let me know in the comments below. I look forward to hearing from you. Feel free to ask any questions that you'd like. And if you want to learn more about working with me directly, click the link below and there'll be some information about that as well. Have a great day. See you in the next video. Bye.